So in this video I'm just going to explain how to use MicroThema with Oxygen's repeater module, uh, where I've just got a simple uh, repeater module which outputs the page uh, title and date for some dummy content I've got here. Um, the way you work with Oxygen and MicroThema together is that we in activate Oxygen inside MicroThema by the view menu, and then what we'll do is we'll have uh, some start options up here that will appear soon um, and it just sits above the oxygen interface so we can still make changes here with oxygen and then style things with microthema. If we click, click this target button uh, and then uh, click on an element we want to style, uh, microthema will highlight it here and if we expand the advanced options it will give us uh, suggestions, selector suggestions here. The default one always just targets the single element we clicked but for instance, I could choose this option here, which targets all of my uh, items in the repeater module. I'm just going to choose a slightly alternative selector here, and then create a selector for that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and set uh, a background color so that you can see, I'm using a transparent yellow here, so we can see how items overlap when we move on to grid in a moment. So to create a grid, to organize all of these, all of this content into a grid using CSS grid, we go to the grid property group. And then, oh, so first of all, we create a selector for the container element actually. So to do that, I'm just going to click on one of the items. And it's always the uh, element, but I've got these advanced options showing here because it's particularly useful when you're using uh, CSS grid. Um, to be able to use the breadcrumbs or directly click on the HTML. So I've clicked here and the highlighting now covers all of our items. And that tells us the fact that we know it's a direct parent is if, we, if we're if we here, click on this one to the right here, it's only targeted a single item. And if we just go one to the left and the, the repeater module always has this idea of like dynamic list and then some number. If we click that, the highlighting covers everything and we know we've got our direct parent and that's the correct one to add uh, CSS grid to. So let's create a selector. And then it's as simple as just dragging this for however many columns we want. So I'm going to drag here. Um, and that, that's created three columns. Uh, you don't actually need to drag all the way to the bottom of however many items there are. You can actually just do it to the top and it will auto flow onto different rows. Uh, I'm just also to make this is a bit easy to see. I'm just going to create a little bit of space between the items. It's a bit of a column gap and the same amount of space below. Uh, and then now we can uh, use these numbers to uh, shift around the positioning of all our items. And there's one uh, exception to the rule here where because Oxygen inserts an extra div um, that's hidden with for its UI when, when you're actively working with repeater modules with Oxygen open. Um, this number two doesn't quite correspond to the product or thing as you would expect. So I'm just going to save the progress we've done so far and exit the way that we started Oxygen. And then now number two does actually uh, relate to this item here. Uh, so we can say drag this over across like that. And we can drag number one down. We can create any arrangement by just playing around with this that we like. Uh, we can overlap items um, and you know shift things around however we like and it's really super easy with this control panel here to create interesting layouts here. And then for mobile it's also really easy to adapt things. So let's say we move to this screen size um, and maybe things are looking right there. Maybe at, at 768 seven, things are looking squashed. So what we do is this by this all tab, which I've already got open for, um, but you can navigate to this and we can set the grid area to auto. And what that does is just means that the, the explicit positioning we did when we drag things around has just been reset and things will just flow from left to right down below like this. Uh, and that means that if we adjust the columns to just two, then they'll just flow nicely. And we can still move things around like this and drag things down and create whatever layout we want here. And then maybe we do this again on even small screens. You do exactly the same system where we set this to auto and then we'll just drag one column. So now we've only got one column of things. So it's super easy to create interesting layouts on all sizes, all from this one control panel and using these tabs here. 
Uh, and then when, once you're ready, uh, to start editing in Oxygen again, this is all fine, just go back and, and enable it again. So yeah, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please let me know below the video. Thanks a lot.